invited to go to this pregnancy yoga remember how i've been wanting to do <laughs> some kind of like yoga thing maybe they heard i don't know baby list invited me to this event that's like a yoga class in partnership with someone else like a bala baby list's showroom is in beverly hills they'll help you like walk through the showroom of all the baby stuff and help you make your registry you know stuff like that like look at all the products and i've been actually wanting to go to their showroom i just haven't we are actually <laughs> halfway through this pregnancy which is crazy but you know i just feel like we still have so much time but i don't want that to creep up on me either so i think it's a yoga class and then it's followed by like a sound bath and that just sounds so nice <laughs> right now Here is my outfit. I'm wearing this like brown um, bodysuit that I got from Bump Suit and this sweater because it's cold and then a brown like little windbreaker and the bump. The bump is bumping. I take my vitamins. These roads that I have to take to get, you know, back to town are so windy. It almost makes you car sick, you know? I got a big thing of water I'm bringing with me. They didn't say that I needed to bring a yoga mat, although I did order one, but I just ordered it from Amazon because I wasn't going to chance that they'd have like a thick one at a TJ Maxx or something. And um, it came so I can do some, maybe I'll learn something today. <laughs> Romeo was with me. This is so cute. Love you too. I had a I had a lot of fun. The I like that the yoga was like slower and like more uh -huh. calm. A lot a lot of women were either pregnant at different stages or had just had their baby. So it was just like really nice and calming and just more stretching, which was really nice. You know how you're supposed to like meditate and like be calm. I just kept thinking about all the stuff I need to do. <laughs> But it was so nice. The showroom is like insane. It's like I'm in a whole nother. It's like now I'm a part of this club that I've never been part of before. It's not a club, but you know what I mean? Like I'm I'm in the mom club where like this is all new to me. I literally pushed a stroller for the first time. And they had like different terrains that you could like push the stroller on to get a feel for how it would feel like on rocks or grass or concrete. I was like, you guys have thought of everything. You guys, that was so much fun. Like I'm really like grateful for them for inviting me we have to bring romeo back because we have to do that together like i was a little bit like you know kind of just taking it all in like i don't want to make decisions without him and we would have so much fun doing that together but i did take pictures of some of the things that that i, I liked or when they were they were telling me about them so i was learning a lot because this is the first time we've ever <laughs> done this and had a baby i have not had earth cafe in 
what feels like forever and I found parking. So we're gonna do it. Little baby boy needs to eat. Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. If you have not heard of them, I order from them all the time, specifically when we're at the cottage, because we live so far from a grocery store with healthier options. It takes about 35 minutes just to drive to the other town, just to get to a place where they have healthier options and we don't have as much savings as we do with Thrive. So all around, a good thing. Thrive is an online membership based grocery store. It offers tons of healthy food options. So if you're like us and you live far away from a place, you know that you can get the healthy options um, or you wanna save on your groceries or eliminate going to the grocery store off your to-do list, you're gonna love Thrive. But one of the things I love getting from them is healthy snacks. I got these avocado crisps, guacamole flavor, chipotle barbecue potato chips. I have tried these, these are really good. Always get chips and salsa. I love the late July brand and they have it. I got the jalapeno and lime. I love the Thrive Market brand salsa. This is in medium and they have like medium, mild and hot. I always see people try these poppy drinks and I've never had one. I was wondering if they had caffeine because I'm kind of limited. I can only have 200 milligrams of caffeine a day being pregnant. Sometimes I drink so much water throughout the day that sometimes I just crave something different. So if you love poppies, let me know what flavor you love in the comments. Romeo loves his oat milk with his coffee in the morning. So I got him some of that. I also needed to replenish our Italian seasonings and they have these packets. Um, so you're not like getting the containers over and over again. So I like that. Olive oil. I always like to have pasta and pasta sauce like in the house because it stays in the pantry. It stays good for a while. And it's like an easy meal if we don't have anything else in the house to eat and we don't wanna like order in or go out. Silicone straw set, but you can take them to go. Love the silicone straws. Does it just like roll up in there or something? <gasps> so cute, I can put it in my purse. I hate paper straws. I can't do it, I can't do it. I would rather just drink it without a straw. I have been testing a whole bunch of different like belly balms, belly lotions, belly oils for like my growing belly. They had this one, it's a Thrive Market brand too. It's called Belly Balm and it's made with soothing botanicals. I save on every order that I place from Thrive. So the products end up being cheaper than me having to even drive to the grocery store to get. Off this order, I saved $38.10. It is a membership grocery store, so you do pay a monthly or yearly fee depending on how you wanna pay for it, but then you save so much more than the membership and that you would go to the grocery store, so it makes it totally, totally worth it. So if you haven't tried out Thrive Market and all the amazing things that they do too through their Thrive's Give program, click the link in my description box to get the best savings because you'll get 30% off your first order and a free gift valued up to $60. So I'm going to put all of these away. I'm going to refill my Italian seasoning. I also cannot wait until we have an actual pantry besides just one shelf. We have one drawer, one shelf, for all of our pantry needs. We have more dry goods down here, but like it's not it's not the greatest. It's not the greatest use of space, truly. It's still early afternoon and I would love to get started demoing the cabinet out of the guest bedroom because I feel like if we can go ahead and get it demoed out, I can start working on the DIY projects that I wanna do that's gonna take me some time and it's a little bit, they're a little bit more tedious. When Romeo gets back, he just ran an errand. So when he gets back, we're gonna actually like attempt to get it out, which you guys will see over in the makeover video because I'm filming for that. I also got something else really exciting. This is all the way from Portugal. If you guys saw a couple of vlogs ago, I was really excited about this girl from Portugal. Yeah, Portugal. That hand makes these coffee mugs. 
and she was doing a drop and I just like, I thought it was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. And to support a small, you know, business and a creator like that, I just, I was so excited. And I waited until she had a drop. Oh, and she put my name for McKenna with, avec plein de moi, with lots of love, lots of love. Ah, oh. A friend of mine is a big fan of your show and showed me your YouTube. Thank you so much for talking about my small business and for your support. So sad the Frey mug sold out. I chose a big lacy mug for you. Oh. Oh, she wrapped it really good too. That was good. And it had to travel a long way. This is so precious. And then the bow on the inside. It's gonna fit my coffee. In the morning. We're doing coffee in this and her company. I'll leave her Instagram. And I got my yoga mat so that we can do yoga here. Thank you guys so much for giving me recommendations on like yoga exercises and stuff. I even got a thicker mat than the one that I can't find. This one's a one incher. And I'm so glad that I did it because as I was laying there doing yoga, we were doing the sound bath and I was laying flat like on my back. So like my tailbone and stuff was, was on the mat on the hard floor. These were like on the thinner side. That's a normal yoga mat. I was in pain. Like, you know what I mean? Especially like going through the pregnancy, I feel like my uh, back is kind of, you know, kind of needs some extra support and things. Oh, it has such a weird smell. Look how thick. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, I love this. <sighs> you guys, update. Ro how long do you think it took us to demo all this? An hour. An hour, hour and a half maybe at the most. We've done some things. We've been up here in the guest bedroom demoing out all that cabinetry. <laughs> um, and it's looking, I'll give you a sneak peek. <laughs> uh, it's looking great. We now know that the wall was painted a seafoam green color before that was installed. We also found two plugs back there. It literally feels like its own room, which is crazy. It's like this room was kind of designed, I think, with a seating area. That's what it feels like to me. Um, just the whole idea of this being like a jut out and, you know, imagine like a seating area with all the things. So making progress. They had definitely built it in. So they had removed uh, baseboards to do it. They had really attached them pretty well to the, the wall. And then it looks like they had come back and re-plastered or re-textured the walls after that was installed. So there's a texture change. So I have to do a lot of fixing and a lot of prep work before I can even start on my own design, which is fine. And now that I can see the space in its totality, like I, I couldn't really imagine what it would look like without that there because it was just covering so much wall. So now that I can see the whole thing, I have two design options that I'm kind of playing with. So I'm gonna explore that. This is very exciting. If you're like me, you don't have quite as much upper body strength as you know guys do or you know HGTV does, like they just manhandle stuff. You kind of have to work a little bit smarter. You have to figure out how things are made so you can undo them. That worked really well for me at the cottage. I was able to salvage a lot doing that. I was able to do it on my own. And that's what we did here. Even though Romeo manhandled some things that I was just like, I don't know how this is made. <laughs> major progress for today. Did you tell me that you want to make baked potatoes tonight? Um, they sound so good. And He's been watching these food guys. TikToks. Food TikToks are killing know. Romeo. I they're from London. He's called Spud Man and then there's like the Spud <laughs> Brothers and it's literally Oh, so there's just, two? Yeah, there's baked potato. It's literally like their special baked potato, cheese and beans. That's it. They make it look so good in butter. Yeah, see, I don't know about the beans. Yeah, but... I don't know, it looks so good. Beans will not be friendly to me, but everything else I'm very into. I think my cravings are getting a little more intense, but it changes all the time. It's not like I crave one thing and it's super weird and I want it all the time. It's like when my mind kind of like envisions that food type, I want it, but then I don't want it again. I want something completely different the next day. So that's kind of how I've been. And ever since you said baked potato earlier, I was like, I want that. Mom. Hey, you just sat down. Would you like to see what I did to your room? Sure. <gasps> wow. We took it all out. And it was seafoam green. Do we like that? No. <laughs> oh. I was just resting on the couch for a little bit. We've decided not 
to do the, the baked potatoes because we have to go to the grocery store. <laughs> So we're like, we both don't want to. Did a lot of like moving my body today. So I, I definitely started to feel it. We already had ingredients in the fridge, Hello Freshes, you know, like we already had stuff here. So I'm making like a maple, spicy maple chicken. We already have the stuff. looking online this morning at estatesales.net and I found an estate sale that said vintage, vintage finds, vintage something. And I looked through all the pictures and I was like, we have to go. So we're going because they're only open from like, like morning time, like nine to one kind of thing. They had a lot of old books and I think I saw the price on some of them and they were like the $4 range, which was good, but it started yesterday. So I don't know how much you know, it's gonna be gone or what's gonna be left. They also had a lot of dishware. I did find during Christmas time when we were hosting a uh, family that we did not have enough like serving platters and things to put food on. And we resorted to like the reusable plastic ones that I kept from like the dollar store, which is fine, but like I'd like some nicer things. But this is like the best one I've seen this year so far. Cause I don't think that they really do estate sales you know, like right around the new year. I just really missed the boat on that one like it was so picked over but i did overhear a lady said that they took a lot of it yesterday and a lot of them were like pickers um people that buy and resell because i think the pricing at this one was fairly decent i didn't see any more serving platters no more old books in the pictures that i saw not really any of the sets dining sets like the serving things um like dinnerware there was also these really cute heart shaped baking pans that i was like i don't know if i would have bought i have never bought baking pans like that at an estate sale but they were really cute and i wanted one for like i don't know like a valentine's day cake it had really really been picked over there was one set of blue dishes left it was pretty but it's not my i don't know it's not my not my thing not my color we tried it was fun to go anyways the only thing that i saw that i might get was this um big art easel i don't quite know where i would put it because i don't have i actually do have a, a spot in mind like over by my desk to put a piece of art on i thought would be really pretty and everything today was 20 percent off and it was 75 dollars, so it would have been what 60 which isn't bad i feel like i could find a prettier one I wish I would have known about it yesterday. I would have totally went. On the way back from the event, I would have totally went. We are stopping by Goodwill first because we have 
some donations and things, you know, that we, we were cleaning out that cabinet um, and there was just stuff that we just did not need. Oh. I don't donate my shoes. No. Oh, well, good. I think I'm going to come Somebody's back tomorrow. Get some goodies. Yeah, I think I'm going to come back tomorrow and buy the stuff back. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you? I don't know. You're so weird. No, really, it was stuff that's like... You didn't donate my shoes, right? Newer. I didn't donate your shoes. Right. It was stuff that was like newer. Like Target. Home good. Like things that like... They were like brand new. I mean, they're not brand new, but we don't like destroy stuff. You know, so it looks a Himalayan salt lamp. Like, what am I gonna do with that? I'm gonna put it in my room. Oh, I'll get it you like? <laughs> <laughs> He's playing. He's not serious in any way. So for sure, I need to go to Joann's. I have a few DIY supplies that I need. Sure, I have to run by Staples. He got a hot dog from a place that no way is it. Oh, because he didn't get a jalapeno this time because it killed him last time. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need some, like, Valentine's day e ribbon. So to speak, I need, like, reds and pinks and things. But I knew if I waited any longer, they would be, like, out. These, like, sheer ribbons are really pretty. Like, the purple and the green and the blue. Really pretty. Okay, I got some votive candles and some taper candles for my Valentine's Day thing and cellophane. These are my glasses. Huh? Oh no. I'm a wreck. No, no, no. There you go. Okay. Cool. We had to come to Michael's because Joanne didn't have anything. So from the craft store, I got these tall taper candles. I thought that they were pretty. I wanted to do some Valentine's Day tapers. I want to do like a little DIY where I paint on them. And I got some votives um, to do for a project that I'm working on. And then here are the colors of ribbon that I got. I pretty much got what was left. I mean, I feel like people are like, you know, like buying up like this kind of stuff. And I was really running low on ribbon of really any color. Um, so I got some for just like every day, like these are more like neutral. And then I got some Valentine's Day ones. Just doing like a few cutesy projects for me. Uh, so today I'm gonna be working upstairs on this stuff, <laughs> like still trying to like organize everything. And, and I wanted to remind you guys not to forget to check out Thrive Market. If you join today, you'll get 30% off your first order and a free gift valued up to $60 with my link. So I'll leave it in the description box. Tomorrow's the flea market. So I'm gonna be going to that. So that's the next thing that you guys will see, which will be exciting. So I'll see you guys again on Thursday and then Sunday for part one of the nursery. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.